Um, I love poetry and I bloody love science as well. And that doesn't happen very often because there's a, this is a brain scan of a poet, by the way. Um, the physicist Paul Dirac certainly had a low opinion of poetry and poets as well. He said, in science, you want to say something that nobody knew before, in words which everyone can understand. And in poetry, you're bound to say something that everybody knows already, in words that nobody can understand. <laughs> now, at the risk of dissing a Nobel Prize winning physicist um, and in the science gallery as well, I don't completely agree. Experiments with structure and with forms such as rhyme and rhythm play an important part in poetry as they do in science. This is what scientists think about in the lab. Life under the lens. Claire is at home in the lab. Microscopes reduce problems to tiny parts. She copes, concentrates on slides, focuses the lens, avoids thoughts about her daughter, just hopes she's at school, not skiving with her friends. Her cancer research uses just the male fruit flies. She's dissected 300 in all, knocks them out first with carbon dioxide. Analyzing the numbers, she's hopeful, though it's early days and the study's wide. She's learned to tell the sexes apart. Her supervisor trained her in the art of manipulating the forceps, admires her skills, which slows her heart, steadies her hand, holds her breath and snips. The flies have hatched within the day, still fresh. They don't stay young for long. She takes ones less toddlers, more youths. She finds that she enjoys ripping the balls off these adolescent boys. Which brings us to metaphors and thought experiments and concise ele um, elegance of, uh, of um, equations and poems. Now this is a series of poems about elements. Um, the uh, terracotta army emperor is said to be buried surrounded by a river of mercury. The elusive quicksilver. She runs rings around emperors, breaks promises. She says she'll be there about nine, glimmering all smoothness and glitter, shimmering in her unique way. By 11, you're hot and flustered, calling her mobile, calling hospitals. This time, she's really gone and done it. I'd like to apologize to any chemists in the audience, by the way, because my background's in physics, um, and just blame Wikipedia. Sulfur. She's a dazzler. Some say, total drama queen. It's true if there's something to react to. Someone pushes her buttons, she will react. Left to her own devices, she's innocuous pottering around, pleasing herself. But watch for the warning signs, the changes of state, that in-your-face yellow. A dragon tattoo, when she blows, she blows volcano, brimstone, the fires of hell. Whatever you do, don't get in her way. I tried to find a photo of a, a famous scientist meeting a famous um, poet, and this is the closest. Professor Brian Cox and the famous poet has just exploded. Um, actually, uh, that the scientists are trained to be precise and poets to be open to their emotion. But if um, either are gonna be any good at their job, they each have to be something of the other. The poet must be very rigorous and the um, great scientific discoveries have been made in dreams and, and even in the bath. Um, and my next, my, uh, next poem is about thorium. Um, I imagine thorium as a kind of superhero because it's a really cool element. You have to go on Wikipedia and look it up. Thorium. I am thorium, look on my magnificence and quiver. I will squat on a shelf and watch your cowering scientists run experiment after experiment. Pressure, timing, temperature, crunch numbers like fish bones. Then your blinkered engineers fiddle and sweat to get it to work. Yes, I can save the world. Defer, defer the inevitable for a millennium, while you puny weaklings curb your pathetic addiction to fossil fuels. You can build your collider in a playground, bombard me with protons, throw everything you can at me, and one glorious day I will radiate to order. I am the answer, earthlings. Now go figure out the question. So, poetry meets science. Um, why don't you take in some of the spoken words that are around? Um, I'll be reading with the Poetry Divas um, tomorrow, 1.30 in the Word Tent. Thanks very much. <laughs>